today we're uh oh no no <laughs> today we're flipping the uh good old nerd rope nah um i'm gonna put this over here put it in the kitchen um but today um is the day after christmas and i mainly i'm on the bite handle for this one um I mainly want to talk about these two because these are two um, two Amazon bell songs or bell songs that you can get on Amazon. Um, and my thoughts on them are very interesting. Um, so this is my first real bell song, um, more high quality, professional grade one, I guess, professional, um, but first one with like Zen pens, T10 hardware, um, aluminum, whatever. Like I know all those things don't make it like high quality, but to give you a perspective, um, this was my first battle song. Here, let me put these over here. This is my first battle song. And uh, just take a look at that play. And um, yeah. So, this is my first high quality battle song. That's what I mean. That's my first one. This is the second battle song, the one that I went and bought for myself. Um, and I have absolutely been loving it. Um, I have been beating the mess out of this thing. It has taken tons of drops on concrete and um, pretty much anything you can imagine at this point. Um, and I absolutely love it, and it feels amazing. Um, tolerance is, right now, it's not lubed at all. Um, I mean, it is lubed a little bit, but um, it's pretty worn out. I just haven't re-lubed it yet. Um, I honestly kind of like it a little bit looser because it does move faster. Um, the th I even, it came with a little vial of like super lube, and it's a little bit thicker than I want it to be just because um, it kind of makes it feel like it slows down this battle song a little bit more than I would like. But um, this is the Marcolo Comet. I don't know if you can see the comet here on it. Um, but my wife got me this one for Christmas. Um, she had went on Amazon and looked up the brand for um, the Vulp, just the Nabalis, because um, she saw the box that had the Nabali's logo on it and all that stuff. Um, so she looked that up on Amazon um, and she saw this one. She knows that I love the like cotton candy colorway with the pink and the blue. Um, that is my favorite colors ever for a ballad song. Um, so she saw this one and going through the reviews or not like the reviews but the pictures, um, there's a picture or a video of um, of um, Brandon at Balasong flipping, um, flipping it and re his review on it. And so she saw that he was somebody that I watched um, and decided to go ahead and get it. Um, and I am very impressed with this thing. Um, I thought it was pretty much gonna feel like the Vulp and just perform very similarly and just have a different style. I thought that was it. I thought that was the only difference to these two, pretty much. Like, they're the same aluminum, um, both from Amazon, both very similar, like, design-wise. They got bushings and everything. So I thought they were gonna be very similar. But to my surprise, they were a lot different than, um, than I was expecting them to be. This one is absolutely amazing, and I love it. Um, I love both of these Bella songs, but this one, to me, um, just has a little bit more of like a premium feel. Um, the milling on it, since it's not just like harsh milling where this is just like drilled in and, um, and there's not like an issue with this, it does provide pretty good grip, but this just has a little bit more of like a high quality premium feel. The rounded edges just feel a little bit more finished. And this one, the handles feel almost like rectangular. 
it feels like they're just a tad bit longer this way than they are this way and i've really been enjoying that feeling of it because it just feels different um but the thing with these is i think this one is 0 0.2 ounces heavier and i can feel the difference it's not like a substantial difference if you ha if i held both of these i probably couldn't tell but when flipping these i can tell a good bit um but i'm not exactly sure which one would be qualified as like a better flipper i think this one feels better i enjoy the feel of this one more but that doesn't exactly mean it's a better flipper i think that the Volp, i think these are both amazing knives especially for their price and i haven't really gone into like high quality like higher end prices for bala songs but just from what i'm able to tell these two both feel amazing and they're only this one's 65 and this one's like 75 and they feel so good and like almost no tap this one has zero tap almost no play both of these tolerances are amazing there's like nothing on there and this one's brand new and i want to keep this one clean just because um, it was a gift from my wife, and I also think it looks amazing. I love it. Um, and then this one, um, I actually had to take a minute to get over the fear of like dropping it, because I didn't want to drop it, because I just loved how it looked so much. And I still love this one. I mean, it's such a cool design. The Bowie Trainer is super cool. But this one is for sure my beater. And this thing still has really good tolerances after so many drops on concrete. Like, you guys can see the wear on this thing. Um, and it's not crazy right now, but like this thing has taken a lot of drops to concrete. So it has been put through its paces pretty well. I flip this thing every single day. And to me, this one just feels like it flows quicker, but not as smooth. Um, I can do like infinite fans on this, um, if I can get the timing right. Yeah, infinite fans on this aren't that bad. Um, sometimes I do have to go a little bit slower than I would like to. Um, I'm not the best of them right now. But this one, for whatever reason, this thing fans amazing. It's so easy to fan it. I don't have to put barely any effort into it. I can literally keep like an even fan just from lightly twisting it. But anytime I try to go into like an infinite fan, it gets really slow and heavy and weird. And I don't know what it is about it. Like this, I, I can't make it go faster and I don't understand why. Um, but it's just a really interesting thing that I found about flipping this. Cause that one, the Vulp, I can do it fine with the Vulp. No problem. Like sometimes it just takes me a minute, but like I can do it fine. Um, sometimes it doesn't look the prettiest, but this one, like, it just won't, and it's very odd. Um, I think it might just be because of the weight, and maybe it's just because I'm used to a slightly lighter ballad song, but it was just something interesting I found. But this one also has, like, less tapering here, and I'm not super good at, like, chaplains, so I don't know how much it affects it, but I know it's going to affect it some. Yeah, let me get it better. Um, and I know that is meant to be done for like, um, wider chaplains and slower. This one is a little bit quicker, the pacing of it, but I think these are both amazing. I think that this just feels a little bit more premium, a little bit sleeker, a little bit smoother. Um, and this one is just a bit quicker, um, a little bit lighter. Um, and I don't know, they just both feel amazing. They just have two very different feels. So if you have the Vulp or if you have the Comet and you're not getting the other one because you think they're going to be too similar or like they're both Amazon trainers, they're going to just be the same thing. They're definitely not. I would definitely recommend getting both of these just because they're both a lot of fun and they're very cheap. So why the heck not? Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, with more time, I'll probably talk more about the Comet. Um, but this is just like my first impression. I've been flipping this pretty much all day yesterday, this a little bit. Um, 
and I have been flipping this Squiddy B a ton. Um, there's something so fun and unique about the Squiddy um, because it's like plastic and kind of bouncy, um, which I will talk about in a different video, but been loving this thing, been loving all these knives. Um, yeah, they're so much fun. Just wanted to talk about the, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about the, uh, the differences between the Comet and the Vulp a little bit because I feel like I thought they were very similar and they're much different than I thought they were. They're both amazing. I love them both. Um, yeah, but that's about it. You guys have an amazing day and uh, yeah, see you.